I got not one, but two of the best decks for Arena 7, the Royal Arena, Arena 8, Frozen Peak, and Arena 9, the Goblin, Goblin Jungle Arena. Boom! This is the best deck for Arena 6, wait no, 7? Arena 7 to Arena 9. At least one of them. You see what I did there? It's actually, it's say psych right now. Psych! We got two decks. We don't only have one deck. We are going to have two decks for you guys today. This is the first deck, and it is a, hey, 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 you can stay away from me, Pekka. Pekka, it's a lady, by the way, so you gotta be respectful. Please stay away from me, Pekka lady. So yeah, this is the first deck. It's Pekka Bait, and the reason, well, Pekka Spell Bait, to be more specific, and the reason why it's called Pekka Spell Bait is because a lot of the cards in this deck are traditionally going to be the way to deal with a lot of these cards, like the Skeleton Army, like the Goblin Barrel, like the Bomber, like the Witch, is you're going to use, usually, your spells to deal with these cards, but your opponent usually only has one, maybe two spells, and if they only have one, maybe two spells, then they, 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 they lose. They can't deal with all the bait cards that you have. This is not looking good. He does have a lot of splash cards, this guy, and he has a lot of, le he has two legendaries too, which is very annoying. I will talk about legendaries soon. Most likely you at least have one legendary unlocked if you are going into Arena 7. You locked, uh, unlocked one at the end of Arena 6. So you should have at least one legendary unlocked. And if you do have one a legendary unlocked, I definitely recommend using that legendary. Uh, later in the video, I'll go over what you should change with the legendaries, what card you should change out of these decks, and what card, what legendary, if you have it, you should change in for those. Um, that'll be later in this video, but going into this deck, very, very simple. Go with the P.E.K.K.A., support it, use your, your cheap elixir, these, these, these cards like the Bomber. Oh, this looks like it's going to be a problem. Uh-oh. Well, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. Um, Houston, we might have a problem. I can't, I can't kill these things. Uh-oh. He's bait. I'm getting out-baited by... The I'm the bait player, Nick. I just got out-baited by the bait player. I don't have enough spells to deal with all the swarm. Didn't expect that. Did not expect that. Interesting. Well, well played to Nick. So, in this situation, you lost the tower. Your opponent got a tower. Let's just play a witch at the back. Play a witch at the back. It's fine. No pasa nada. Um, here, I would love to go P.E.K.K.A. I would love to go P.E.K.K.A. Um, this is a problem. This is a very, very big problem. Um, uh oh, this is everything's just going wrong right now. I might lose this game because this is not looking good at all. I'm gonna go with a cheeky goblin barrel and hopefully I can get some damage here. I'm really hoping I get to get some damage here because as of right now, this is looking atrocious and it, it just though it, it just keeps getting worse. Um, this I'm gonna play the skeleton army after these. Fly oh my gosh, this just never ends. It just never ends. This guy, can you take a chill pro? I just want to breathe a little bit, big guy. I just want to breathe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get that P.E.K.K.A. off the tower. That's what you can use the tornado for is to get the get a little bit of uh, distance between you and the, uh, the your opposing. Oh, no, that did not lock on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to focus right now just to make sure that we can win this game. I really want to win this game. I really, really want to win this game. I don't want to lose this game. I've never lost in my career. Okay, he's going for the log. Is that enough damage? Okay! Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. Um, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what my plan is. It, all he has to do is go with one more thing. If he goes with one more thing, I just lose. I'm gonna go with the P.E.K.K.A. in the middle. I'm gonna go with the Bomber in the middle. Maybe this P.E.K.K.A. gets on tower, and maybe we clutch this up because I've never lost in my life. This is how good this deck is. Even if your opponent is using legendaries and you're not even using legendaries. You just win the game. Good try, Nick. Better luck next time. And I think with that win, we just got to Arena 7? Or 8? 8? Arena 8? What, what arena are we going to? Drum roll, please. Frozen Peak, Arena 8. I'll see you guys. I'm going to push up a little bit. I'm going to get to Arena 9 real quick, and then I'll show you guys the second deck. Boom! Into the second deck, second game. And this game, you know, that, that game against Nick stressed me out. So I put on a replay. I did get to 2000, wait, Arena 9. I ripped through the entirety of Arena 8 using this Golem deck. So if I was able to succeed in this Golem deck, everybody can succeed with this Golem deck. 
and I definitely recommend this Golem deck. This Golem deck specifically, this is known as a beatdown deck in Clash Royale. And what a beatdown deck means in Clash Royale, it's a, it's it kind of highlights the strategy of this deck. And just as the name says, it's about beating down your opponent with a big, large push. Usually you want to play the Golem at the back, which I probably will do here. Play the Golem at the back, and all you got to do is support your Golem with the Prince, with the Bomber, with the Night Witch. If your opponent gives a lot of, for example, if this Night Witch was maybe further back, and there was another Musketeer, and there was Lightning Value, use the Lightning to take out those units. You can use the Tornado to pull the units into the the range of your prince into the range of your your bomber you can do a lot of very interesting things but at the end of the day the trick with this deck is exactly what you see here play the golem at the back play the prince supporting it play the bomber to support it play the baby dragon the the the, the witch and the golemites will pop every you will just have too many units anything that your opponents play if your opponent plays a single unit the prince takes it out if your opponent plays a swarm unit multiple units your bomber takes it out and this is pretty much exactly what happened goblin barrel comes down bomber got it on lockdown and this is pretty much what you're going to do with this deck every single time it's a solid deck you can play this deck technically from now all the way to top ladder in clash royale people still play it right now but there are some changes that you can make and that depends on if you get legendary so let's talk about legendaries real quick also for those people in chat that say cash this deck doesn't work this deck sucks why this deck poo poo pee pee well this is this is proof this is this is what i did it took me about 25 minutes and i didn't lose a game this deck is fine. This is the deck prior, this P.E.K.K.A. deck. And that was another deck that I was playing. Long story short, I haven't lost with these decks. These decks are good. So at the end of Arena 6, you unlock a card in a legendary chest. The card in that chest is a legendary card. And you are potentially going to get one of, I believe, five different legendary cards. But as you proceed through Arena 7, 8, and 9, you might, might actually get more legendary cards. So if you have these legendary cards, what cards do you change these cards for? Because they are level 9, which is a lot higher than most of your other cards. So you should use these legendary cards. But what should you change them for in these two decks? If you unlock the Ram Rider like I unlock the Ram Rider, you can change the Ram Rider for the Prince in the Golem deck, or you can change it for the Bats in the P.E.K.K.A. Bait spell bait deck that I made. If you unlock the Princess, well, you can change the Princess for the Bomber in either of the two decks. If you unlock the Lava Hound, you could technically change it for the Golem, but I don't think it is as good. So if you unlock the Lava Hound, I'm sorry, you don't really, you can't really use it right now. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. If you unlock the Miner, I got bad news for one of the decks. If you're playing the Golem deck, well, you, you don't really need to use the Miner. So I recommend playing the P.E.K.K.A. deck because if you change out the Goblin Barrel, you can use the Miner instead. And if you unlock the Night Witch, well, the Night Witch is going in your Golem deck. The Night Witch is probably the best card to pair with Golem, and it's one of the strongest combinations in Clash Royale. If you have the Night Witch, you can change it for the Prince, the Skeleton Army, the Bomber, the Baby Dragon, the Witch. Any of these cards work. I would say get rid of the one that's the lowest level. And for the P.E.K.K.A. deck, well, put in the Night Witch for the Bats. If you're fortunate enough to unlock the Magic Archer, well, you can substitute the Magic Archer for the Witch in either of these two decks. If you got the Mega Knight, well, Mega Knight, you can actually switch. The, you can put the Mega Knight in instead of the P.E.K.K.A. in the P.E.K.K.A. deck. And in the Golem deck, the Mega Knight doesn't really fit. So if you unlock Mega Knight, you should probably use the P.E.K.K.A. deck, but Mega Knight instead. If you unlock the Ice Wizard, you can change the Ice Wizard for the Witch in either of the two decks. Or you can change it even for the Baby Dragon in the Golem deck. If you unlock the Lumberjack, why is the Lumberjack's picture so haunting? Oh my gosh. Well, if you unlock this cursed dude, he's got a great hat though. If you unlock him, you can change the Lumberjack in for the Prince in this Golem deck, or you can actually change it for the, probably the Skeleton Army. No, I would say the Bats. I'm going to say you can add the Lumberjack to the Pekka deck instead of the Bats. And then for Trophy Road, which of the two should you pick out of the cards that you get options for? Well, the first one, Royal Giant or Royal Recruits. Uh, I, I like Royal Recruits personally, but both of these cards are really good. Pick whatever one you want. Between Three Musketeers and Royal Hogs, they're actually both, again, really, really strong. I personally like th the Royal Hogs. They're one of my favorite cards in the game. So pick Royal Hogs. If you have to pick between the Ice Golem and the Elixir Collector, I both of these are also fine. Uh, the Elixir Golem is used in more decks, but the Elixir Collector is used in more fun decks. So I, I would pick the Elixir Collector. And if you're looking at the Bowler or the Freeze, both of these cards are actually both 
really good. I'd pick either one of them. Maybe, I don't know, it's, it's hard to say. Let me know which one you pick. And then in Arena 9, you got the option between the Rascals and the Goblin Gang. I would pick the Goblin Gang. It's one of the most versatile cards in the game, and you could pretty much use it in almost every deck. If you're looking at the Dark Goblin and the Earthquake, there was a time before the Earthquake got nerfed. I would say the Earthquake, but right now, Dark Goblin's definitely a better option. Boom, bang, bot, bada, boom, bang, pow. There we go. Those are the two best decks for Arena 6, 7, and 8. It's also what rewards you should pick on Trophy Road, as well as what legendary you should put in each of these two decks. What, what more do you want? I hope you succeed in your journey in Clash Royale. Hopefully you dominate through Arena 6, 7, and 8, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be Arena 10, the best decks for Arena 10. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click on one of these two videos. I'll see you guys in one of those two videos. Deuces.